If you're starting to get addicted by Twitter, you probably f started following a lot of people. And if you did this, then you get a lot of incoming information. Too much to follow. Well, first, don't worry that much about it. Twitter is like consuming when you have time. You don't have to read it all. But if you want to get more organized, there is a great way to do so is Twitter lists, which not that many people use, actually. The principle is very simple. You create a list, and then you start adding people to that list. On Sismic Web, we created a contact manager that will let you even drag and drop people to those lists. The purpose of doing this is to help you filter information which you can then display into different columns. On iPhone, you can swipe to a different column. Let me give you an example. For you could follow your space, your competition, everything happening in your area of expertise. You could follow by region. So I follow, for example, uh, some people in, in France that only tweet in French, which I grouped. You could follow your own company. I created a list with my uh, employees at Sismic, which I like to follow and separate the feed from the rest. I created a list called Must Read, where I try to read those people every single day as much as I can, so it's like a VIP list. I really advise you to uh, start using lists and then set them in Sismic if you like.